I live in a rural area with very bad television reception. I'm about 40 miles from the nearest television station. I know I could have it a lot worse, but still it's pretty bad because we can't pick up television, even a single channel, with a moderately sized antenna. Now we used to be able to pick up quite a few channels with analog television, but with the advent of digital television, we can't pick up anything without like a huge antenna. But it is fun to try because every so often with a funky antenna you can get some channels. So I think we should experiment to see what it takes to get some video out of the airwaves. So we have this little antenna right here, which I can pull up the pieces. So it goes pretty big like that. Whenever I was living out in California near San Jose, I found that even just a little like four inch antenna was more than enough to give me like 70 channels. So it is quite a contrast from rural to urban areas. I think a lot of people that design the, the digital television really didn't care too much about rural places. So let's try with the VHF connected up and we'll see if UHF has any difference. Because if I remember correctly, this is actually two antennas here. There's the VHF for this and then there's the UHF for this. So now it's doing a channel scan and unfortunately the video signal just is not working very well with this camera. And I don't think we're going to find any channels. Oh, wait, look at that. We found three channels. Well, that's a real shame. It keeps sinking to the to that state in the, the video. And 50 hertz just isn't working either. But at least you can see it better now. So 55.1. So let's try that. No, we're not getting much signal at all. It's all frozen. Now I'm going to disconnect the... VHF and hook up the UHF line. There we go. I was able to increase the brightness on the television from the uh, hidden potentiometer in the back. So I hit it really hard and it's working now. So I guess that means there's probably a bad solder connection in that box. Oh my god, seriously. See, this is why I hate digital television. I have to fuck around those pieces of shit boxes. Thankfully, I have a shit ton of these things, so I don't care about them. Hmm. These things went in the trash pretty quickly once uh, digital TV came, because Everyone bought one, and then they didn't really work too well. Real shame, too. Alright, 60 hertz just is not going to work, so at least you can see it flickering now. Three channels. Pretty good. So it's exactly the same one as before. But not getting any signal now. I put the RF connector on the end, so let's see if we can get some radio signal with this old wire. And you may have noticed this orange rope that's been sitting in the shot. I threw that over the tree branch up above, about, well, I'd say that's a good 30, 35 feet there. And I think for a television reception, the best would be, ooh, let's see, three and a half meters of wire. So we can start with whatever I have here, then we can start cutting it off and seeing what works best. Oh, look at that. It's like the perfect length for the highest test. Okay, so that didn't pick up any channels. I think it's because the wires are stranded around themselves. And no, I do not think they have shielding around them. So this green wire will be for our monopole experiments and the black and white wires will be for the, our dipole experiments. Now if I remember correctly, the lowest channels are about 17 and a half feet long, like the, uh, the wavelengths are that long, so a full wave antenna 
would be about seven and a half feet. But I went down to, se uh, sorry, 17 and a half feet. But I think 17 is a good place to start. And then we can use this for other experiments later on. So we didn't get a channel from that, but it might be because of this little converter that I have on here, this little transformer. So let's, let's remove that and see if we can just run it directly into there. That didn't work either. Okay. So I just have the hose hooked to this little paper clip here. And I think I'm going to take this off a couple inches, uh, maybe like, let's take off two feet. Okay, so I went down to 12 feet and it's still not working. So I think perhaps this television just really wants to have a dipole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend this and then have one wire running on each side down to this transformer like it should be. So I tried this in two different boxes, with and without the transformer, and it's just not getting any signal. So perhaps... Oh wait, I'm an idiot. This is like a double wave antenna. Alright, because the dipole has to be half wave. Ow, oh, I'm an idiot. Each one has to be half as long. Well, got three channels same shitty channels and they're up and they're upper frequency ones too that's strange channel 55 oh i've been going on the wrong signal uh, band uh, the wrong information on the internet Evidently, most of the TV signals, the digital ones, are between 200 and 500 megahertz, not 50 and 180 megahertz, like the older ones, I guess. There's so much con conflicting information on the internet, plus who knows, like, it might be from a different country, who knows. A, lo a lot of websites don't actually label what country they're from. So, channel 55 is from 45 miles north of here in Springfield, and it goes on channel 482 megahertz. So that means that that would be just a wavelength of like 1.9 feet and this big beast up here is way overkill. So that's like for what, 80 megahertz? And so the lowest channel I could find was 75 miles from here and it is I believe 180 megahertz. So that's like about six feet. So we'll take one of these wires, cut it in half and do the same thing switch back to the PEX pipe so we can have a shorter span across there so we can still have a V shape hopefully and then we can maybe uh, get another cable and hoist it up even higher that might work that's a real shame didn't get any so I have that up about 20 feet and it's not detecting any of the channels that it should detect I run it through a mag uh, amplifier. I have it down here to the television, and still no signal. Very strange. So I've gotten the rabbit ears out, the Rembrandt one, and I've adjusted the the wires to be well. Let's see, 11 inches long. So that should be almost a little bit under two feet for both. If that is like a dipole. I'm, I'm I'm not too knowledgeable on this kind of stuff like I can't quite visualize it too much like I like I understand it's it's like a harmonic frequency but oh man so I was faffing around for like an hour with that stupid rabbit ear bunny ear foot v-shaped dipole antenna whatever it is winching it up and down and it's just not getting any signal but then I realized I have this old messed up antenna which I, I believe this would be this would count as a fucked up high gain antenna i think i don't know it's missing a lot of the pieces <laughs> a lot of the pieces but it's kind of interesting this already got three. Oh my god look at that all right fuck it we're going back to pal screw ntsc so it looks like we get some pretty good signal
There we go. Starting to get some there. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Go to the box. What? Awesome. I'm not going to be able to hold that like that, so... Oh. Let's hoist it up. So with the antenna about, I'd say a good uh, 20 feet above me, 18 feet or so, and with an amplifier on there, I can get that much signal, which isn't too bad, but of course it's amplified, so it's not always that great. Because it also amplifies the problems along with the, the good parts. Now I imagine if this antenna had all of its prongs, then it'd be a lot better. Now I'm going to try to rotate this so we can aim it towards St. Louis and then hopefully we can get better signal. Hey, it's Mr. Hadfield, the, the astronaut. It's kind of neat. Although unfortunately the sound on my TV is busted so I can't hear what they're saying. Probably just some stupid ad for something though. So the antenna now is pointing actually exactly towards St. Louis so we should be able to get a few signals from over there hopefully. No channels. That sucks. God damn it. But, once again, I found another antenna in my junk. And this one's getting, this is kind of messed up a little bit, but, I mean, it has all the pieces. Well, okay. It has most of the pieces. So that's not too bad. Good enough. Oh, hey. I forgot I got this. This 300 ohm foam insulated lead in wire. Rear ohm foam insulated leading wire function to connect TV, video, cable, and antenna components where 300 ohm twin lead screw terminals are standard. Awesome. It's 75 feet though, so I might want to keep some uh, most of that. Like I don't want to cut this up too much because you know it's it's actually kind of nice. It's straight from 1989. It's a good place to start it. Oh, already three channels. Might be three more at uh, 62 or so percent. Yep, nice. Six channels, hell yeah. Channel 17, okay. And it's watchable. Nice. And this is without the um, the amplifier. Fourteen. That's respectable. I can I can use that. Ooh, 23 nice I'm a bit of a spinning problem but oh well even off center it's getting 20% there signal for 55 is really good though now let's try switching now let's try rotating the antenna towards st. Louis 10 channels isn't bad channel 4 channel 5 channel 11 Okay, so that's not too bad. The monsters. Weird. I didn't get a single channel. You know what, I'm going to stop that and add the amplifier. <sighs> Fucking, I hate how they put the thing right there, so you, when you do it you turn it off. So I lowered the height, I, I can't remember what I filmed so far. When it was fully up there with the long cable I couldn't get anything. I shortened it a little bit and when pointing to St. Louis all I can get is three channels. 
Let's see if they even come in. Mm, they have a lot of noise, but they're still watchable, so that's good. So I think what I need to do is above like 20 feet or so, I'll need to add an amplifier at the antenna's end to amplify the signal. But it works, so that's fine. I happen to have an antenna pole that's a good 45 feet or so tall. So I think in the future I can take this antenna, mount an amplifier at the top, have that 75 foot cable come down, possibly even extend it with an aluminium cable or a pipe and make it even taller. Maybe get like 100 feet out of it, who knows. Or PVC pipe, I'm not sure what would be strong enough. Probably aluminium though. And so yeah, that's a good experimentation with television signals, digital television signals in a rural area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.